Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige for those of you guys who are new here. I am in California. I just landed a couple of hours ago. I'm going to be going to an event this week called Vid Summit. Gary Vaynerchuk is going to be speaking there. So it should be so awesome. I'm super excited. As you guys have seen, I've been doing a lot of more blogging, Instagramming, YouTubing, and all that stuff. So make sure to follow me on Instagram so you guys can see what I've been up to. As you guys have seen, I've been trying to do a lot more vegan videos. So I'm going to be actually doing one right now before I go out to this party tonight and show you guys what I pack for a trip when I'm basically traveling and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get vegan food or I don't know if I'm going to have enough time at the airport. So usually what I'll do is I'll bring, me and Keith will bring a food bag and this is actually a hack. Um, when you're flying someplace, usually you're allowed to bring a carry-on and a personal item. That's usually like a backpack with your laptop in it and a rolling carry-on of some kind. Um, the little hack there is that you could usually bring a food bag with you and they won't ask you to squeeze it in your backpack or something like that because it's basically like perishables that you're going to get rid of during and before your flight. So they're not too t strict about that. So I'm usually able to bring a carry-on, a personal item, and a food bag with me and I throw it in a Trader Joe's bag. And these aren't usually disposables. I bring like Tupperware with me. So um, me and Keith were flying today six hours, I think, from New York to LA, maybe five and a half. So I knew we were going to need a lot of meals, especially with intermittent fasting. We were going to be eating from 12 o'clock onward, so I didn't want to like be starving or anything like that. So I brought a lot of snacks with us. So the night before, I went to Trader Joe's. I spent about $40, and I got a ton of food. We had dinner with the food I bought, and then we prepped for the next day. It took me less than an hour to do the prep. A lot of this stuff is raw. But I made three salads, one of them is gone, the other two were, you know, we've eaten a little bit of it. Um, but this one is a kale and spinach salad, it has carrots in it, um, Brussels sprouts, hummus, vegan cheese, and almond meal. Um, I think I might even put a little bit of sauce in it, like a red sauce, and then I just mix it up and it's so good. Um, we brought a container of hummus, so just so you guys know, it depends on the airline, some airlines will allow you to bring this and some won't. Um, this one was half filled, so I guess they weren't too strict about it, so this made it. But I've gone with full containers of hummuses, and they've thrown it out right there, which is heartbreaking if you love hummus. So we brought this, and of course, veggie chips. These are great if you're on a like a low carb diet. So these are so those are two meals right there. And then we packed three veggie burgers and a side of onions and Brussels sprouts, which I heated with vegan diet cheese and salt, pepper, and paprika. Mix that up and then I put it as a side with these veggie burgers. And Keith ate almost all the veggie burgers and he loved it, right Keith? Yeah. <laughs> and our third meal that I made is another salad but it was mostly kale. And in this one I made a dressing mixed with, it was a butternut squash soup that I combined with a miso dressing. And I made my own creamy dressing out of that. And then I added in again almond meal, a little bit of vegan cheese. And then I continued to like let it soak and get the kale to be condensed down a little bit more and then I continued to add more kale. So if you try to make a salad and you throw in a bit of kale, it's going to take up this whole container. But if you let it condense a little bit, it shrinks down and you can add more and more food. So this is actually pretty heavy and this is like almost half a bag of kale. So this is a great way to get your nutrients in when you're, when you're flying and also get a lot of calories in if you're trying to do what Keith's doing in bulk a little bit. So this also I think might have a little bit of hummus in it as well. But this is so delicious. We also brought some extra snacks, which one of these is gone. I had um, a Enjoy Life vegan chocolate bar, and this is the second one. We ate one whole one ourselves. We split it. I also brought <laughs> my favorite, vegan diet cheese. I don't know how this made it on our flight, but it did. And this is diet cheese in here, melted. So this is the cheese that they use for the mac and cheese. But if you mix it with some salsa, this makes the most amazing vegan dipping cheese you'll ever find. Like, the best. It tastes like a nacho bel grande cheese from Taco Bell, but it's like vegan and it's healthier. And what else did we have? Oh, we got a brownie, just in case we need more chocolate. This brownie's from Organic Corner. It's a little health food store near our house in Long Island. And I brought a banana. This was, you know, I didn't get to eat this. I'll probably eat this tomorrow for breakfast. Um, but yeah, had a banana. And um, I brought a container of raspberries in here, which usually end up leaking everywhere, so I put a plastic bag around it to protect it from not getting all over the bag. And then I brought fresh tomatoes from the garden, which I ate like throughout the whole flight, which were incredible. So those are the snacks that we brought. Um, as you can see, it's a plenty of snacks. Like during the flight, they served sandwiches for everyone, or wraps or whatever. 
And luckily there were two vegan wraps available, so we got those and we just ate the veggies inside it. Um, but most of the time they don't have vegan wraps for us. It's usually like covered in gorgonzola cheese or something, so we can't have it. So I always make sure to prepare just in case. And just for, so you guys know, if you're a vegan and you're flying, as long as you let the airline know, like at least Delta, um, they said if you let them know 24 hours before or you know more time, you can request a vegan meal and they'll have it for you. But if you don't request it, there's a chance that they won't have one. So it's always good to keep note of that. Um, and then bring things like nuts with you because a lot of flights don't give out nuts anymore because of people that have nut allergies. So if you do like having nuts on a flight, bring your own. So those are my my meal prepping tips. These are things that I do for just about every flight. Our bag was pretty light. This wasn't heavy to lug around and it saved us a fortune on airport food. I suggest bringing your own water bottle to save money on water and packing some food to save money at the airport, but also just to have things that you know you're gonna like and that are good for you. And um, just make sure not to pack any liquids that are more than four ounces or else they'll take it away. So thanks for watching guys. If you guys have any suggestions for packing tips for me for packing food or any like to-go snacks that are really good, feel free to leave it in a comment below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!